Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to tell you about our sponsor, Factor. Factor is a meal service that takes the hassle out of meal prep and planning. Unlike other meal services, Factor cooks your meals ahead of time, so it arrives ready to heat and eat within minutes. But this isn't just some fast food or TV dinner style service. These meals offer fresh, never frozen ingredients across a variety of preferences. There are over 25 meal options each week, so you'll never get tired of the meals delivered to your door. Nowadays, the only quick options are unhealthy fast food or overprocessed, stale tasting frozen dinners. Factors meals ensure you always have something nutritious and delicious on hand. It gives you time back to focus on the things you love to do. So give Factor a try today. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use the code on the screen for 50% off of your first box. A big thanks to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Zack, piloting Niv Mizzet Perun. This is a control deck that aims to combo off with the Curiosity effect and its commander in order to ping the table to death. Zack's opening hand contains a Cephalid Coliseum, Island, Izzet Signet, Mental Misstep, Imperial Recruiter, Daze, and his London Mulligan is a Pact of Negation. Next, we have Ryan, pounding Rionia, Fire Dancer. This spicy mono red deck's main goal is to create infinite combat steps with its commander's powerful ability. Ryan's opening hand contains a Felwar Stone, Bloodthirster, Crash Through, Dire Fleet Daredevil, Soul Ring, Ragaban Nimble Pilfer, and a Mountain. After that, we have our Mox Pearl Patron, Sean, piloting the partner pair of Malcolm Keenite Navigator and Vile Smasher the Fierce. This deck has classic Grixis shenanigans that looks to combo with Underworld Breach, Thassa's Oracle, or take over the table with powerful cards. Sean's opening hand contains the Talisman of Dominance, Wheel of Fortune, Badlands, Mana Crypt, City of Brass, and his London Mulligans are Grim Monolith and Brainstorm. Finally, we have Ashani, piloting Shorkai Genesis Engine. This artifact stacks deck aims to generate card advantage with its commander to eventually assemble a combo win. Ashani's opening hand contains a Hinge Gate Pathway, Atakar Wastes, Lavinia Azorius Renegade, Mana Crypt, Brainstorm, Out of Time, and a Portable Hole. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more great content. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, find us on Facebook, and check us out on TikTok. Without further ado, let's kick off this wacky wonky Wild Western Wit. Zack won the 48 hour challenge and gets to start us off. Zack draws a card for turn and plays an Ancient Tomb. He taps it to help cast an Is It Signet. He gives the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays a Mountain. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts a Felwar Stone. Ryan ends his turn. Sean draws and plays a Badlands. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Wheel of Fortune. Everyone discards their hands and draws seven. Sean ships the turn. Ashani draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts an Esper Sentinel. He passes. Zack draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast a Pentad Prism for a Sunburst of two, entering with two counters. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Mox Opal. He ends his turn. Ryan draws and plays a Mountain. He casts his commander, Rionia Fire Dancer. He gives the turn to Sean. During Sean's upkeep, he wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Dockside Extortionist. In response, Zack casts Mana Drain. Esper Sentinel triggers and Zack pays. In response, Sean casts Swan Song targeting Mana Drain. Esper triggers and Sean pays. In response, Zack casts a Misdirection for its alternate cost, exiling a blue card targeting Swan Song. Misdirection resolves and changes the target of Swansong to Misdirection itself. Swansong fizzles, Mana Drain resolves, countering Dockside. Sean ends his turn. Ashani draws and plays an Ottawara Soaring City as his land for turn. He casts a Mystic Remora. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Esper. Sean takes it and Ashani passes. During Zack's upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and in his first main phase, he adds 2 colorless through Mana Drain. He plays an Island for turn. He taps his Mana Confluence and removes a counter from Pintad Prism to help cast his commander, Niv Mizzet Perun. He ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays a Mountain. He casts Red Elemental Blast, targeting Niv Mizzet. Niv Mizzet, Esper, and Remora all trigger. Ashani draws 2, Zack draws 1, Niv triggers again and kills Esper Sentinel. Then Red Elemental Blast resolves and Niv Mizzet is destroyed. Next, Ryan casts Harnfell, Horn of Bounty. Remora triggers and Ashani draws. Ryan activates Harnfell, discarding a Mountain and exiling Seething Song and Cathartic Pyre. He activates Harnfell, discarding Crimson Wisps and exiles a Mountain and an Expedite. He activates Harnfell, discarding Fury of the Horde and exiling a Lotus Petal and a Mountain. He plays a Lotus Petal from Exile. Remora triggers and Ashani draws. Ryan moves to combat and attacks Sean with Rionia. Sean takes the hit and Ryan ends his turn. During his upkeep, Sean loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Blood Crypt into play untapped, paying 2 life. He ships the turn to Ashani. During Ashani's upkeep, he pays to keep his Mystic Remora. He draws and plays an Island. He casts a Chrome Mox, imprinting Rushing River. He casts a Blind Obedience. He gives the turn to Zack. 
During Zack's upkeep, he loses his mana crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays an island. He casts a trinket mage. It enters tapped through blind obedience and then he fetches up a lion's eye diamond into his hand. He casts the lion's eye diamond. Remora triggers and in response, Sean flashes in a notion thief. It enters tapped through blind obedience. Ashanti declines to draw with notion thief in play. Lion's eye diamond resolved and it comes into play tapped through blind obedience. Next, Zack casts Jeweled Lotus. Remora triggers, Ashani declines to draw, and Jeweled Lotus enters tapped. Zack taps his Mana Confluence and his Ancient Tomb and sacrifices his LED, discards his hand, and adds 3 red. He recasts his commander, Niv Mizzet Perun, into play tapped. Zack passes the turn. Ryan draws and moves to combat. He attacks Ashani with Rionia. Ashani takes it, and Ryan ends his turn. During Sean's upkeep, he wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts a Mnemonic Betrayal. Niv Mizzet triggers, and Sean steals the draw through Notion Thief. Mnemonic Betrayal resolves and exiles all of his opponent's graveyards. Sean casts Zack's Lion's Eye Diamond from Exile and it enters tapped. Sean casts Ryan's Wild Magic Surge targeting Blind Obedience. Remora triggers and Ashani declines the draw. Niv triggers and Sean steals the draw. Surge resolves and Blind Obedience is destroyed. Ashani reveals cards from the top of his library until he reveals Grasp of Fate, putting it onto the battlefield. Grasp enters and exiles Zack's Jeweled Lotus, Ryan's Harnfell, and Sean's Notion Thief. Sean casts Ashani's Mana Crypt from Exile. Remora triggers and Ashani draws. Sean casts Arcane Signet and Ashani draws off of Remora. Sean casts Ryan's Red Elemental Blast from Exile targeting Remora. Remora and Niv Mizzet trigger, Ashani draws, Zack draws, and Niv Mizzet pings Sean for one. Sean passes to Ashani and the cards exiled with Mnemonic Betrayal are returned to their graveyards. Ashani draws and plays an Arcane Signet. He casts a Sensei's Divining Top. Ashani gives the turn to Zack. During his upkeep, Zack wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts a Spell Skite. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast Goblin Matron. It enters and he fetches up a Dockside Extortionist into his hand. He casts Dockside Extortionist. It enters, creating 11 treasures. Zack moves to combat, attacking Ashani with Trinket Mage and Niv Mizzet. Ashani takes the hit and Zack ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays a Mountain. He casts a Mana Ball. He casts a Tormenting Voice, discarding a card and drawing two. Niv Mizzet triggers, Zack draws, and pings Sean for one. Ryan casts a Gamble. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Sean. Gamble resolves, and Ryan fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Combat Celebrant, which is what he tutored for. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Rionia. Sean takes the hit, and Ryan passes. During Sean's upkeep, two Mana Crypts trigger. In response, he casts Vampiric Tutor. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Sean for one. Vampiric Tutor resolves, and Sean fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. The Mana Crypt triggers resolve and Sean loses both, taking 6 damage. He draws and casts Harnfell, Horn of Bounty. In response, Ashani activates his Divining Top, looking at and rearranging the top 3. With no answers, Harnfell resolves. Sean activates Harnfell, discarding a Deflecting Swat and exiling Gamble and Verdant Catacombs. He plays a Verdant Catacombs from Exile. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. Sean ends his turn. At the end of Sean's turn, Ashani activates Top, looking at and rearranging the top 3. Ashani draws and plays a Plains. He casts Sabine's Reclamation, targeting out of time in his graveyard. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Sean for one. In response, Zack casts Muddle the Mixture, targeting Sabine's Reclamation. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Sean again. In response, Sean casts an Offer You Can't Refuse, targeting Muddle the Mixture. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Sean. In response, Zack casts Pyroblast, targeting Offer. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Sean again. Pyroblast counters Offer, and Muddle counters Sabine's. With nothing else, Ashani ships the turn to Zack. During Zack's upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes 3 damage. He draws, Niv triggers, and pings Sean. He plays a Training Center for turn. He casts a Frantic Search. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Sean again. Frantic Search resolves, Zack draws 2, discards 2, and untaps 3 lands. Niv triggers, and pings Sean for 2. He casts a Gamble. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Sean. In a last ditch effort to stay alive, Sean activates Harnfell, Horn of Bounty, discarding Witchclaw Talisman, and exiling Polluted Delta and Lotus Petal. He activates Harnfell, discarding Thassa's Oracle, and exiles a Glenhorn Buccaneer and a Mental Misstep. Gamble then resolves, Zack fetches up a card into his hand, and then randomly discards an Ophidian Eye, which is what he tutored for. <laughs> he casts a Mystic Remora. He casts a Talisman of Creativity. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Niv Mizzet and Ashani with Trinket Mage, Goblin Matron, and Dockside. They both take it all, and Sean dies. Zack then ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and debates some interaction, but decides not to with Spellskite on the battlefield. He plays a Mountain, and then passes the turn. At the end of Ryan's turn, Ashani activates his top, looking at and rearranging the top three. Ashani draws and plays an island. He casts an unwinding clock. Remora triggers, Zack draws, and pings Ashani for one. Ashani casts his commander, Shorakai Genesis Engine. Remora triggers, Zack draws, and pings Ashani again. In response, Zack casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, targeting Shorakai. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Ashani. In response, Ashani activates his top, drawing a card and putting top on top. Ashani then casts a Force of Will, paying a life and exiling a blue card, targeting Fierce Guardianship. Niv and Remora trigger, Zack draws two, and pings Ashani twice. 
In response, Zack casts a Fluster Storm with all copies targeting Force of Will. Nib triggers, Zack draws, and pings the Shawnee. Fluster Storm counters Force of Will, and Fierce Guardianship counters Shorkai. After all that mess, Ashani ends his turn. Ashani untaps his artifacts with Zack through Unwinding Clock. During his upkeep, Zack pays for his Remora. He wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws, Nib triggers, and pings Ashani. He plays an Island as his land for turn. He casts a Ledger Shredder. He moves the combat and attacks Ashani with all of his creatures. Ashani takes the hit, and in his second main phase, Zack casts a Felwar Stone. Ledger Shredder triggers, Zack connives, giving Shredder a counter. Nib triggers, pinging Ashani. Zack gives the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and decides he's going to sit back and watch the fireworks, passing the turn to Ashani. Ashani draws and plays a City of Brass. He casts a Hullbreaker Horror. He casts a Sensei's Divining Top. Hullbreaker, Remora, and Ledger Shredder trigger, with Ashani targeting Niv Mizzet with the Hullbreaker trigger. Zack draws off of Remora and pings Ashani. Then Zack connives through Ledger Shredder, discarding Goblin Engineer, giving Shredder a counter. Niv triggers and pings Ashani. In response to the Hullbreaker trigger, Zack has Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost. Niv triggers, Zack draws and pings Ashani. Swat resolves and changes the target of Horror's ability to Horror itself, returning it to Ashani's hand. After quite a while in limbo, Sensei's Divining Top finally resolves. Ashani ends his turn. Ashani untaps his artifacts with Zack through Unwinding Clock. During Zack's upkeep, he pays to keep his Remora and wins his Mana Crypt trigger. Still in Zack's upkeep, Ashani activates Top, looking at and rearranging the top three. He activates Top, drawing a card and putting Top on Top. Holding priority, Ashani casts Silence. Niv and Remora trigger, Zack draws twice, and Niv pings Ashani for two. In response, Zack casts Mystical Tutor. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Ashani for one. Mystical Tutor resolves, and Zack fetches up a dig through time onto the top of his library. Still in response to Silence, Zack casts Rapid Hybridization, targeting Rionia. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Ashani. Ledger Shredder triggers, and Zack connives, discarding a land. Niv triggers, and pings away Ashani's last life, killing him. Rapid Hybridization resolves, destroys Rionia, and Ryan creates a 3-3 Frog Lizard. Zack, finally, gets the draw for his turn. Nib triggers and pings Ryan. Zack plays a Command Tower as his land for turn, and then delves away some of his graveyard to cast Dig Through Time. Zack looks at the top 7 cards, puts 2 into his hand, and the rest on bottom. He casts a Brainstorm. Nib triggers, Zack draws, and pings Ryan. Then Zack draws 3 and puts 2 back on top. Nib triggers and pings Ryan for 3. Zack has a preordain. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Ryan for one. Then Zack scries two and draws. Zack has Cyclonic Rift targeting Ryan's Frizzard. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Ryan, and then the Frizzard token floats out of existence. Zack moves to combat and attacks Ryan with everything. Ryan takes it all, and Zack ships the turn. Ryan draws and casts Rionia, Fire Dancer. In response, Zack casts Delay. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Ryan. Delay resolves, countering Rionia, and Ryan sends her to the command zone. Ryan passes. During Zack's upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws, Niv triggers, and pings Ryan. Zack hard casts Mog Salvage, targeting Mana Vault. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Ryan again. In response, Ryan casts a Chaos Warp, targeting Niv Mizzet. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Ryan. In response, Zack casts an Offer You Can't Refuse. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and guess what? Pings Ryan again. Chaos Warp is countered, and Ryan creates 2 treasures. Mog Salvage resolves and destroys Mana Vault. Next, Zack casts a Mox Diamond, discarding an Arid Mesa. He transmutes Tolaria West, fetching up a Pact of Negation into his hand. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with all of his creatures. Ryan takes the hit and goes to two life. In his second main phase, Zack casts Red Elemental Blast, targeting his own Niv Mizzet. Niv triggers, Zack draws, and pings Ryan to one life. Holding priority, Zack casts Pact of Negation, targeting his Red Elemental Blast. Niv Mizzet triggers, Zack draws, and Niv Mizzet Perun deals the final damage to Ryan, killing him and Zack wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wild and fun game. Congrats to Zack on his win. Zack was able to land the powerful dragon, generate massive amounts of card draw, and slowly ping the table, leading to an astonishing non-combo victory. Speaking of the dragon, the most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Niv Mizzet Perun. This commander was able to grind out a victory by purely being on the board. The fact that any interaction or removal against Zack resulted in him pinging and drawing cards put him in a dominating state for the majority of the game. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.